Do you want to study in Germany or are you planning for your masters in Germany? Then this video is for you. So in this video I will give you complete instructions for those students who are aspiring for to study in Germany. So bunch of students have many questions in their head. How how how? So in order to answer your how, I am here. So first how? What is the procedure? Second how? Is it easy to manage by myself or do I need to get assistance from any consultants? Oh, can I prepare all the LVORs, SOP, every document by myself or do I need to get any assistance from someone? Blah, 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 blah. So many questions, multiple answers. There is no one answer for it. So in order to clarify, in order to make your life easy, I am here today. So first thing, so I will explain the complete procedure for your master studies in 2024 or 2025 in four steps. Our today topic is about complete procedure for master studies in Germany. Okay. So I will explain the step by step procedure for your master's journey and how you have to apply immediately after your bachelor's either it is three years or four years bachelor's degree in India or somewhere else. So the first step, second step, third step, fourth step, just four step is easy. Believe me, it's very easy. You can manage yourself. In four steps, I will answer your all your hundred questions in four steps. What is the complete procedure for applying for a student who actually finished his or her bachelor's either it's a three years or four years bachelor's degree in India or somewhere else. So for them, this video is for you. Step one. So first step one is about is make sure you have successfully completed your bachelor's degree without any backlogs or something else. So you just be ready with your bachelor's degree. Okay, your bachelor's degree is finished now. So you have finished your bachelor's degree, then you are ready for step two. What is step two? Step two is about applying for the universities in Germany. So in order to apply for universities, you need to have a sufficient documents list. So first thing is APS. So if you want to study your, your master's in Germany or your some kind of study in Germany, then you should need to submit APS certificate, which is mandatory nowadays. Without APS certificate, you can't start your visa application procedure. All. But you can start your um, uh, application procedure for the universities. Okay. And then next document is uh, your language proficiency documents. Either it is IELTS or TOEFLs or GRE if applicable. So under resume, so you need to be ready with your resume, bachelor's degree certificate, uh, including individual semester grades, sheets, and then three letters of recommendation, three LORs, so, and then one SOP, statement of purpose. If you have any relevant work experience, just be ready with that as well. Uh, it's better uh, in getting an admission in any unit. Okay, you are done with the step two. Now the step three. So you got, you applied for the universities and you have all the sufficient documents, right? Then step three is all about after you applying for the university, you just need to uh, wait for the admission letter. So after some time, you will receive your admission letter from the universities. Then you are ready for applying for your visa. Without admission letter, you are not able to apply for any visa. Okay. So in order to apply for a visa, you need to have the list of documents that here, here I, I listed down, you can see here, usually the list of documents that you need during visa um, will be given by the official uh, official authority uh, when you're applying for a visa itself. So you need to download the list of documents, what you have to submit during visa. So you just download the PDF from the official website, then you can submit all those documents that uh, that they need uh, for, for your student visa. In so you need to have all those documents. Apart from that, what are those documents? 
Uh, so the documents that I told for applying for universities is passport, APS certificate, language proficiency scores, whether IELTS or TOEFL, resume, bachelor's degree certificates, letters of recommendation, statement of purpose, work experience certificates if you have any and apart from all these documents you need to have admission letter so if you got any admission letter from the university you have to submit uh, that admission letter as well and then what else blocked amount uh, blocked uh, amount so you need to show the financial stability uh, how much finance you have for your master's part so and also i did a a video about the how much expenses uh, that may incur for your master's journey so i think i made a complete video about uh, expenses you can just watch in our channel as well and uh, yeah and one more important thing that you need to consider it's better to include proof of accommodation arrangements ideally made at least six months prior so if you're applying for any accommodation in germany before coming there so it's better and strengthen your visa application as well and uh, i think you can get the visa very quickly so you don't need to wait for a long time free book flight tickets i think i mentioned earlier so free book flight tickets if you have any free book flight tickets so it's better to uh, include in the list of documents while applying for a visa so that there is high possibility that you can get your visa uh, very quickly so that is one thing Okay, you are finished with step three. Now, step four. What is step four? So you have admission letter from the university. You have visa. You are ready to fly to Germany now. You are done with all your procedure. Okay, after securing your visa, so uh, after um, making all necessary arrangements for flying to Germany, then you are ready. Just, just hold your breath for the start your masters in Germany. After you hear, just say hi to me. Hi. Remember one thing, patience and thorough research are the key throughout the process. Just be patient and seek information from your uh, professors or from anyone who already studying in Germany or someone else better to have some authentic information from someone before you reach here so that uh, you are ready for all uncertainties in the future also don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel Euro Ganesh feel free to ask all your doubts uh, in the comment section or else you can just message me in the Instagram I am here for you so thank you all the best for your master's journey. Ciao, ciao. Bye, bye.